Hi, I'm Stephanie Townrow. I'm the Director of Education and Public Programs at Lancaster History. And during our closure, we're here to help share with you uh, the collections items that we have so we can continue making our history available to you, the public, while we're closed. One really interesting document that we have in our archives is an estate inventory. When Buchanan died, they took an inventory of every item in his house and went room by room to explain to the reader all of the different things that had value in his house. And one of the things that had the greatest value was his wine cellar. And we have a really detailed picture of exactly what he had in his wine cellar when he passed. He had 10 cases, each 12 bottles of old Madeira wine that represents about 32 gallons. He had a set of bottles of ports. He had a lot of claret wine. He had 16 demijohns with liquors of various kinds and each demijohn holds two to three gallons. So that's about 48 gallons of liquor. All in all, that's about 80 gallons of liquor, not counting the port or the claret wine. In total, it was estimated at the time that this collection was worth $800, which is about $13,000 today. To put that in a little context, we know that Buchanan paid $6,750 for this home. So uh, it's nearly double what he paid for his home. Uh, that's quite a bit of wine. We have some sources from people who knew Buchanan that talk a little bit about his drinking and his love of Madeira wine and other liquors. One of the best sources on Buchanan's drinking is a man named John W. Forney. He was a journalist and a politician from Lancaster. He ran a Philadelphia newspaper called The Press. And in this newspaper, he wrote, quote, the Madeira and Sherry that he, meaning Buchanan, had consumed would fill more than one old cellar and the rye whiskey that he has punished would make Jacob Bear's heart glad. In talking about that and using the name Jacob Bear, Forney's referring to the man that distilled the whiskey that Buchanan purchased while he was a senator in Washington, D.C. He always purchased whiskey from Jacob Bayer because it was known as Old J.B. Whiskey. And James Buchanan, who shared the same initials, I think thought that was really a hilarious uh, thing to bring up at a dinner party. Forney also remarked on Buchanan's ability to drink copious amounts without appearing drunk, which is a real skill. After observing Buchanan drink two bottles of cognac washed down with rye whiskey, he wrote, quote, there was no headache, no flushed cheek. Oh no, all was as well and as cool, calm and cautious and watchful as in the beginning. By the time he was writing this account, it should be noted that Forney was a Republican and he was very much against Buchanan. Still, he was probably not wrong. Thanks for listening.